Are you ready for more Andor? <laughs> we I'm are. a alien dog. <laughs> right, 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 right. Give him a bone. Give him a bone. <laughs> I'm not going to kill me, though. <laughs> we love our, our Star Wars aliens, <laughs> right? Yes. No, yes, yes, we do. So welcome back, everyone. Oh Storm here. I'm here. No! Oh, here. No. no, be nice. Oh, <laughs> so we're going to be watching episode two of Andor. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. All these new characters. We're learning mm -hmm. about Cassian and um, his past, I was going to say, but like even with him being a child and what happened with him there and his sister, sister yes. we haven't seen much there yet, but right. I'm curious. Like they're very close. Yes. You know, yeah. She really looks yeah. up to him, really wants to stay with him. So maybe they are just by themselves in this community. And um, it seems like the kids aren't accepting of him, mm -hmm. you know, but the elder daughter, you know, the elder girl, she said, no, she, he can, he can come with us. So. That's yeah, good, that's but it uh, seems like they're very close, and he wants to see her now. He's looking for her. Yeah, so that's when right. did she go missing? You know, has this yeah, been a year long ago, time? Said, right? Oh. So this, is that what they yeah, said? Okay. Yeah, so it's been a while, and hopefully yeah. she is okay. She, I hope she's mm -hmm. alive. She could be anywhere after mm -hmm. a year. Mm -hmm. So you ready to get into this one? We're yes, ready. Let's do it. All right, so on Disney Plus, episode two. Look right there! <laughs> It's so crazy he just killed him point right. blank. Right, yeah. and a half hour later, yeah. he's begging for his life. Busy. Two minute dead, sir. What? I got an untraceable MS9 star Pathion. Your friend will want this piece. What is that? Find it. This title I thought was um, a ship cloaked. Oh, man. oh with yeah. With the sun. Yeah. Or, yeah. or laid on it. Hi, let's go back. Whoa. Don't fall. Catch up. <laughs> a big grinder. Dong. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's oh, neat. Boy. That's awesome. Get out of it. <laughs> That's so <Come> funny. <laughs> Look at the vultures. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we said one night a week. Let's so start the week tonight. <laughs> Let's do this. Why don't we do something fun? Oh, now he's gonna sneak. No, I'm gonna check you out. Mike gets highlighted. Don't you say a word. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everything okay? Oh, oh, this. Oh, I need a wash. Uh, I was helping Pegland. I would have come home this morning, but everything I had going on was over East. I kick again, speak now. Read it. <laughs> Upper Primor Authority is seeking a Canary male resident of Ferex for questioning. Who else knows? About what? That you were born in Canary. Have you ever said anything other than Fest? Officially, no, I don't think so, but people, yes. Who? Uh, please. Femi, Carlos, Stop, Sombrief. stop, stop. There's something they don't even know. Baba Vix. Vix has nothing to do with well, this. Well, then who told these primo bastards about Canary? Mm. Well, just forget that. What is she still in the yard? Me? What do Please. they want? Wait! Mm. B, where is she? Kaka Khan's access travel to the calculating reroute. Oh, we power it down. I see it. I haven't been here in a while. I wasn't sure it was safe. You saw the notice. What did you do? He's coming. The buyer's coming. Oh, it's too late to call him off. He'll be here in the morning. Who's watching? Who's peeping you? Yeah. Yeah. The boyfriend. Sneaky cameraman. Yep. There he is. And there he is. <laughs> He's going to get involved at the wrong time. Yeah. Is he gonna drop it down literally? Oh no. He's jealous and mad and drunk. Yep. He's here. You called him, right? He's telling me. Oh, <gasps> that says he's confessed. This was a tip call, right?
Who is it? Is it too late? No, my love. She's gonna have to stay with it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm surprised. You really gotta, he has to talk to her. Sergeant Linus Moss got your service, sir. <laughs> Sorry to arrest you in the middle of the night. No, sir. Privilege, sir. Got the brief on the right end. How many men do you think we need? I say twelve, sir, just to be prudent. Will you be sitting up with us, sir? I think I should, don't you? Absolutely, sir. The thought of anything less than full engagement on a case like this. Unconscionable, sir. Dereliction of duty at the minimum. <laughs> we can win that. I can't like you. <laughs> Half measure. Pockets of fermenting. Corporate tactical forces are the Empire's first line of defense, and the best way to keep the blade sharp is to use it. So. Is she gonna have a weapon or something with her? No. Oh. She's just waiting. She has something on her wrist. He's gonna blow it on them. Oh no. Push quick up. And every time the music builds, we're just like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to get late. <laughs> you know, we're all kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Selvig, I mean, uh... <laughs> <laughs> This guy's like yeah. awesome at his job. You can tell he puts a lot of heart into it. Yeah. Don't just watch me, that's creepy. <laughs> tell me you have calf. I was just about to put it on. Calf? Calf in. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Just, um, just tired. You gotta talk to her. You could just come in to tell me. You haven't been listening to me, have you? You have to go away. And? If I can bring them myself, I will. But if I can't, we need the comms. Right? Me. Going is of a bad idea. Go! Everyone's so mean to me. <laughs> me! See, she's wondering already. If you have power down back here again, I'll be so upset with you. I'm afraid that she's by herself and they're mm -hmm. looking for Cassie and uh... mm -hmm. oh. Some crash. your question. <laughs> I can't breathe the air. Warn her. Warn her. Oh yeah. Does she hear Whistle. anything else behind you? <gasps> Crap! Oh, oh say. Didn't warn they didn't her. even say anything. No, he didn't. Yeah. Peace shoot him. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he just shot without his forehead. Yeah, forehead. <gasps> wow. Finally. Oh my god. Oh no, she's dead, yeah. Oh, she's she There's gotta be more people in here. Yeah. She was good to him. Confidence is irritating. I am looking it up. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. You got a minute? I'm just, I'm looking up Canary. 
mining, everyone died. Abandoned and considered toxic, imperial prohibition. What would we be picking up? Give me the price for not knowing. Wait. Not important. Explosive? No, no. I got 500. Well, you should plan more carefully. Okay, let's split the difference. <laughs> okay. It's an emergency. Keep the engine running. <laughs> this deals like that a lot. Go. <laughs> it's like gonna Scotty and his friend in yeah. Star Trek. He's not going to yeah. let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Cassian Andor. Not a recent image, but the best we've got. He may not appear to be a formidable opponent, but two of our men are dead having made that mistake. Andor should be considered armed and dangerous. We will have the element of surprise, but there should be no illusions as to the risks involved. Oh, yes, sir. There comes a time when the, the risk of doing nothing becomes the greatest risk of all. Hmm. Best of luck to us all. You'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you do. All right then, carry on. <laughs> He's new at this. You believe this? Incredible, right? We're circling. We're stacked up. Charging us to come and spend our money. They get you coming and going. <laughs> I'm old enough. I first came here. You could drive in across the wasteland. If you can't find it here, it's not worth finding. <laughs> Busy place. Mm, wow. <laughs> Looks like a bus. That's right. Flying bus. <laughs> I think he's looking for him. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because um, I only know it's ending because of the music, you know, because right. the endings are subtle. It's yeah. like so subtle. Yeah. And he's on his way out, right? So, yes, he is. Yeah. Wow. He's going to just miss him. Yeah. Um, that was really yeah. sad seeing the past with a group of children. Was, yeah, very sad. Checking mm -hmm. out the crash and uh, here, no. like, she gets shot. Yeah. I mean, they're young, anyways. Um, I mean, it looks like they have some experience out there, yes. but at the same time, they haven't seen something like this before. They have weapons, they have darts, right. but the guy's getting up and they get alarmed but they don't even like warn her because they don't know what to expect yeah. so yeah. they're already they realize this yeah. and um, they're trying to be quiet because that's probably what the direction they had from her yeah. mm -hmm. and her being the leader it seemed like she was yeah they just, didn't know what to do yeah at that they point. were mm -hmm. alarmed at that point they thought he was gone so here they had these primitive weapons and they have such advanced weaponry and you know there's no match for them yeah uh -huh. and experiencing that will just you know give them fear and hate i don't know like i mean their friend just died yeah. by oh these gosh. outsiders so right. like what happens after that like you know they're fearful of any yes. other you know people who might actually need help i mean mm -hmm. they reacted right away they seemed very hostile at least that one guy he already had a weapon on him and he was ready to shoot mm -hmm. uh, which he did right, but you know yeah. he already had a weapon on him and stuff and yeah so yeah and you know they're checking him out just to see wow this is you know this strange ship just landed you know crash landed on our planet and we have to go investigate and that's all well and fine you can understand why she'd have you know some type of weapon because she's you know they're all you know fearful you know right, they have yeah. to be defensive but for him to go all like that instantly it's like okay i fear for my life i don't know you know i don't know what's going to happen to me either and we don't know if there's more people if there's anyone alive in the ship yeah well. they didn't even get into the ship yeah. yet right? so they're just so devastated they you know just want to carry her away for respect and make see if they can save her but um she really um helped out she really helped him out you know he she was the one that said come you know you're old enough you can come with us so he's so mad at, at the end he was like so furious like i'm gonna get you back yeah so he might be like really yeah. driven at this point to take charge and right. go back and go after anyone else that survived or yeah, something you know but um 
Yeah, and now we have uh, this one agent or whatever who he uh, is so... He's trying to do the right thing. He's really driven. I don't know if it's for his own cause to be promoted, but I really think it's because he wants to do the right thing. Yes. By his mm-hmm. job standards, I guess, you know, because... Yeah, he mm-hmm. seems very sincere. He's not like a s- super agent, you know, a super leader. Like, he couldn't really talk to that group at the end because they're... This elite well, he doesn't have any experience, yeah. He doesn't really. have experience yeah. with it. He did. He had no problem telling the other guys what to do <laughs> oh last episode, yeah. you know, yeah. the ones that he sure, works yeah. with. But, um, yeah, he, I think he's just really passionate about... You know, we have to find, these are our comrades. Yeah. We have to find who did this to them. Yeah, I think it's different for him, like, when he's angry and trying to do something with, like, subordinates, people who are lower than him. But then once he has people that he's leading, he hasn't done that before. So then it's a different, Mm -hmm. it's a different experience. But Mm -hmm. um, I'm curious where his character is going. I think he's going to get experience and then be... um, very intimidating. We'll see. I'm curious. Mm-hmm. Or he's going to fail miserably and we're going to be like, ooh, yeah. I mean, he is working for the Empire. It doesn't mean like he's a bad person, though, because we've seen a lot of stories where you, you know, um, you're just in a situation, a tight situation, or they took over your planet and you just need a job kind of thing. So yeah, that's um, true. Yeah. here, like, he is kind of stuck up a bit, and so I was joking, saying he has, like, a stick up his butt or something, because he's very, like, rigid, and this is how things have to yeah. be, and then this uh, military guy, or this soldier guy that's with oh, him Oh, yeah, now, his sidekick. He's he's yeah, he's, yeah. Um, he's a very, he seems, like, very proud, very strong, and he's saying all these things to him that he wants to hear, so I'm a little worried about him, too, because... He might only mean well because they have the same perspective on how things mm-hmm. should be run. Right. But I'm kind of worried that he's doing this for himself to like he's gonna take get over. this word out or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he's like, yeah, because uh, a lot of people do slack off and a lot of divisions around like everywhere, different security places or whatever, mm-hmm. and drop the ball because they don't want to be thorough. They just you know, ignore it or, you know, just pass it off like it's not a big deal. But here he's going the extra mile to make sure that, you know, these people are found. Um, And anyways, yeah, so they're working together because they both have the same, um, you know, ideal of what they want to accomplish. Right. Um, and so I just hope he doesn't take over later to be like, okay, oh, well, yeah. once I he know. can and, and Is he going to use Cassian, you know, set an example? What's he going to do? Mm-hmm. You know, okay, you have 12 guys for one guy. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's a little excessive, but he doesn't know what he's getting into. You know, he doesn't know how skilled Cassian is. So, um, you know, he chose 12 guys. And it is good to have the leader that... You know, it was instrumental in trying to, in finding him. You know, okay, they have a name, so let's go for it. It does make sense to have that guy go with them, but um, I just hope he doesn't like kill Cassian. I know they want to bring him in, and you know, they're gonna you know send a, you know send an example of him. But you know, make an example, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna make an example of him. So now, um, now with Bix. Like her boyfriend, you know, he, they, they're not talking like she's asking what's wrong. And now he's being deceitful in a way because he's sneaking around following her and not, you know, just confronting her about what she's doing. So that's causing issues. Well, yeah, because she found, you know, he found her in this canteen and then, you know, Andor comes up and, you know, has a conversation with her. He leaves and... What does she do? Later on, she comes to see him. So is she f- sad because she doesn't think there's going to be anything with um, Andrew anymore? So she is just settling for him? I don't know. It just seemed too weird for her to come there and be like that. I mean, I know they're they're dating, but, you know, I don't know. It just seemed too forward because mm-hmm. she was like, mm-hmm. I have errands to do. I have things to do. And, and mm-hmm. then, pop, she's there. And then she's got to leave again. I gotta do errands yeah. because she's gotta make this deal for him. Yeah, oh. and it, it is weird that they just—I mean, it happens, but like they just sleep together I, I, and then yeah, like that's yeah. it. Nothing's really said. It's still really awkward, and he's watching that's her because yeah. I know he p- feels betrayed and he feels yeah. like something really sh- like shady is going on, which it is kind of, you know, because yeah. he's a criminal. But um, you know, just the fact that he's not being open about it, like this is a 
Yeah, and he called, he, he called him out, you know. He, he's the one who told. Well, so did the yeah. bartender lady, yeah. the lady at the bar, Yeah, they, she probably ID'd yeah. him. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, he, I'm sure, like, was the one who sent in all that information mm-hmm. for them to use. Yeah. So that's he's really that, bad. He's that, that, uh, uh, that old-time uh, phone. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's for sure. <laughs> that old-time pay phone. <laughs> And what about you, Bobby? You like the show? Yeah, I do. <laughs> a little quiet? Yes, I'm, I'm I know you, do you like B, the I droid? I like see what's going on. You, you like, like the, the droid? droid? Yes, I do. B, his name is That's B. That's right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. His name you is like B. him, right? Yeah, yeah he's very <laughs> friendly. <laughs> and he seems a little sad because he's, you know, I mean, I, I guess they care for him, but they treat him more like property, That's you know? Right. And yeah. he does care for them. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you really shouldn't go. I think this is a bad idea. Mm-hmm. Sure does, yeah. And I like just when he um, closes up, you can kind of see when he's sad just by his motions. Like yeah. He kind of hides it and like, tucks yeah. into himself. And <laughs> and then the woman, that's his mother? Is that yeah, his I mother? Yeah, I think it's think his, it mom. his mom. His mom or his aunt or someone. With, someone of relation. Mm-hmm. She was upset with Cassian, too. I mean, she yeah. seems pretty smart you know like she's aware and and she heard the report so yeah Yeah, big time and he said yeah i messed up you know and you know now he messed up big time (laughs) and i know he's you know really wanting to find his sister but he should never said that to that lady Mm -hmm. i like this show so far but i kind of wonder if they release three episodes at once because it's so slow i love it um i love being back at star wars i like casting's character but i feel like it's still a slow build up Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so maybe that's why they release the first three episodes because you're just a lot of introduction Mm -hmm. at first so yeah Yeah. so until the next episode guys thank you so (laughs) much for watching and we'll see you very soon as always bye guys Bye. Bye. bye